trying to get us killed? The Impatient is a psychological horror game made exclusively for PlayStation VR, uh, and it's set in the Blackwood Sanatorium in the 1950s. It's a different, different kind of horror in some ways uh, to both Until Dawn and Rush of Blood, and it feels significantly more psychological as a result. Help! You can't just leave me in here! The character in the game can't recall anything uh, that's happened prior to the game starting. So in that sense, they know as much about the story as the player knows when they embark on the game. So I think it'd be wrong for us to give anything away about that. And that, that is uncovered during the, uh, during the experience. Do you remember who I am? Do you know why you're here? It's a great thing about PlayStation VR is it, it, it puts you right in the action. You're playing as yourself. We make it as as much about you as possible. The whole game is about your experience and how you interact with that world. We've used the technology of the Move controllers, PlayStation VR itself, uh, to fully immerse the player in that, in terms of how we, we track movements uh, the, of the player's hands and how they use that to pick objects or pass them hand to hand, so that they, it actually feels totally natural, and the technology allows us to do that. We, what we really want is for people to play the part of the patient, to actually act and perform that part, and so the, the, the voice control is, is an integral part of that. If a character is speaking to you, you just say the words to respond how you'd like, and the system makes the choice appropriately. You understand I want what's best for you. I think the impatient of VR generally is very different because we'd expect people to be playing this largely with headphones on uh, because that's the way to get the, the real true immersion. To actually feel quite alone and isolated in there is, is actually, I think, part of the, a big part of the experience. It's too big to keep quiet. For the players.